flat out, clear and basic. Um, too many of us are so full of ourselves that we don't even want to know what's in the Bible that God has left for us to study and to meditate on. Most people don't care. Um, <clears throat> I myself have fallen victim to becoming proud, a little too proud, you know. Once you start to understand things about God and his word and his will, you can feel boastful. So I apologize for the name calling. Um, <clears throat> understand that I believe my works is to expose darkness. How I see fit, I, I want to change the message. Definitely. But the works of darkness will be exposed. On my journey, Yahushua, he reveals a lot. And, you know, once you, you start to want to learn more of what he wants for us and not what we want for us, he'll reveal things slowly but surely to you. And Yahushua, um, and the reason why I call him Yahushua, I like to show him that I respect him in the best way. And the, you know, the thing about knowledge and, and, and um, things that we can learn, uh, it could be beautiful. And I urge all of y'all to want to learn about God and just his son, the names Everything, you know, everything under the grand, large scheme of things, it all matters. You know what I'm saying? And I am always, you know, just trying to show God that I'm learning. You know what I'm saying? I'm always trying to show him that I'm learning and that I, I hear him. <clears throat> we need to do more of dropping the pride. We don't have much time. We honestly don't have enough time. As you guys think we have, we don't. <clears throat> just just take my life for instance, man. I know a majority of y'all, y'all might look at my page and y'all, I mean, oh, don't nobody know him. And everybody from over there on that block know me. Everybody from over there, they know what I was about. That's why you won't see big names coming out and they won't talk against what I've said because they know it's true. Not only do they know it's true, they know that I am as real as they come, bro. And I'm not putting myself on a pedestal. I am nothing. I am as real as they come because I allow God to come into my life and then to change the inner parts of me so that I could, you know, start to fully walk in his purpose for me. It's not what you want. It's not what you think. None of that matters to God. All that matters is his will. Um... When we try to look at our lives and we try to, you know, um, make it seem as such, though, like, well, I am bigger than the what God want. You get what I'm saying? Or I am, uh, uh, you know, we go to God with with our problems and it's I, I've done this. Why aren't you doing this for me? I've done that. Why aren't you doing this for me? We talk to him as if we're on the same level as him. We are not. He is way. He's on a level that man can only strive to reach, but will fall way short of it. He, he made us in, our, in his image. You get what I'm saying? So we have him in us, but we are not greater than him. You get what I'm saying? I, I was lost plenty of times, my dogs. Not my dogs. I don't mean to call y'all that, but I was lost. And the only way I found myself was I got on my knees and I started praying. And because I wanted a better life for myself, man. I didn't want to live and, and perish and like not not being knowing that I didn't get to live. I knew as well as a lot of y'all out there, bro. Y'all know that the lifestyle that y'all living isn't of nothing. And. He's sending people right now in the most desperate times to speak for a reason. We got to wake up. There's a lot of people who are awoke yet still sleep. 
That means, yes, you, you see what's going on, but you don't understand in the world what's going on. You don't understand why they continue to put their agendas in our faces and push them so heavily. They do it with the idols. That's why my work with idols will never stop. I will continue to talk about the idols and how they are being used by Satan to pollute our mind even further. <clears throat> I will just purify my message. I won't, content, I won't condemn those people like I have a hell to put someone in. I will pray for those people and I will, you know, try to communicate with those people that God loves them. And, you know, I hope that you guys will see the world the way he wants. So, I just hope y'all listening and y'all taking heed because this is regardless of how you feel. Again, it does not matter how you feel. It doesn't matter how I feel. Doesn't matter my brother, my son. It does not matter how we feel, what we think. That is the pride of man. God is way more greater than any one of us or any of us all together. You get what I'm saying? He is greater. He's the creator. Let's give him our attention. Because Satan is at work right now. He's really at work right now. Don't be so naive to think that. He, that it's all just a joke and that like, oh, I'm going to do what I want to do because I, I've already suffered enough. You don't want to suffer in this world and then go. And then you see that judgment is real and he tell you to walk away. Not walk away, but to depart from him. Think about that. Truthfully, think about that and let that marinate in your spirit, bro. You do not want God to tell you, I do not know you, depart from me. Because you were so full of the things of the world that you didn't want to listen. You didn't want to take heed into the signs. When, when I tell y'all, I was more worse off than majority of those dudes from that block. Way more worse off. No father, no mom. I was adopted. The family I was adopted to, they called me adopted. They had people on the block calling me adopted. You get what I'm saying? I had way more anger than any of those dudes. I blamed the world, God, for all of it. But we have to understand that God, he's always judging. He's always watching. He's always, you know, seeing Everything is always a test to him in a sense. So don't ever feel like your trials, your tribulations is him judging you when he don't love you and he don't care for you. Even after you have went and preached to people and after, you know, don't think that he don't. Everything is a test. You know, myself, I am learning on this journey that no matter what happens to stand fast and believe in his name and what he has for us. And when we can start doing that, a lot of things that hold great power over us, he will start to give us ability to release those chains. You get what I'm saying? It could be we, it could be the lust or just pride and, you know, just the pride. But we got to work and we got to work now.